In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And as we gather today, let us call to mind our sins first. And once again, ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy the eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, On that day I will raise up the fallen hut of David. I will wall up its breaches, raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may conquer what is left of Edom, and all the nations that shall bear my name say I, the Lord, who will do this. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall take over, shall overtake the reaper, and the vintager, him who sows the seed. The juice of grapes shall drip down the mountains, and all the hills shall run with it. I will bring about the restoration of my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them, say I, the Lord, your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Please stand. My sheep, hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn 
as long as the bridegroom is with them. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak to a piece of unshrunken cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak and tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the skins burst and the wine spills out and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wine skins and both are preserved. May dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I have two things in today's Gospel. First of all, is something to do with the responsorial psalm. The Lord speaks peace to His people. And if you are going to look at the story, the context is about there are people approaching Jesus and trying to, to, to object to His practices. And then essentially, eventually Jesus prefers to choose the peaceful manner of dealing with them. Ito yung tipong mas pinipili niyang pili ang mapayapang pamamaraan o mapayapang pakikitungo, mapayapang pakikipag-usap. Well, totoo nga naman, ang taong mas pipiliin ang mapayapang pamamaraan ang siyang bukod-tanging magtatagumpay. And this is a good lesson that we can take from today's Gospel. Kung paano natin pahalagahan yung relasyon Paano natin pahalagahan yung ating pakikitungo sa kapwa? And one way to really preserve this is choosing the peaceful way kung paano mas mapayapa ang pakipag-usap, mas mapayapa, mas magaan ang pakikitungo, mas maganda at mas magiging matagumpay pa. At higit sa lahat, mas magkakaroon pa ng mapayapang kalooban. Kayo ba'y nakaranas na ng ganun? Diba? Nakakita ba kayo ng mga taong ganun? Simple yung pakiusap pa lang. Simula pa lang ng pakipag-usap, sigawan na agad. E eh, diba? Kahit ikaw nakikinig nga lang eh, nakaka-stress na. Pero kapag may nakita kang kahit sabihin natin, ah, hindi nagkakaintindihan, bagkos nagkakaroon ng mapayapang pag-uusap, eh diba? It's so inspiring to see them. At dapat yan ang magiging magandang pamamaraan din natin sa ating pakikitungo sa kapwa. Kita mo yung ginawa ni Kristo. Minsan nga ako, minsan may ganong tendency eh. Yung tipong pakikialaman ka. Suddenly, ang sagot natin, mind your, mind your own business. Pwede ba? Pabayaan mo ako. De, ito yung mga, mga dahilan, mga rason ng mga bagong ng, ng ating lipunan ngayon. This is my life. This is my body. This is my choice. This is my principle. Ay, teka, teka. Sa'yo ba talaga yan? Again, the peaceful way. Sana sa pamamagitan ng Ebanghelyong ito, mapapayapag natin, mamamayagpag yung tinatawag nating pamamaraan ng pagiging mapayapa. The second thing is about the topic of today's Gospel. It talks about fasting. And you know, the opponents of Jesus are trying to Again, as I have said, object, trying to, to discourage him. And yet, what Jesus did is to let them realize the meaning. So it's all about the meaning. It's all about the real meaning of the thing. Kaya minsan sa buhay natin, ito yung lagi nating nakakalimutan. The meaning, yung halaga. Minsan pinipili pa natin yung interest ng tao. Mas pinipili pa natin yung pera. Mas nangingibaba pa yung reputasyon. Mas nangingibaba pa yung anong sabihin ng iba. Mas nangingibaba pa yung personal interest. And yet, so sad to see that we tend to take for granted the meaning. Yung halaga. Minsan pinaglalaban natin yung karapatan. Karapatan kong ganito, maging masaya. But what about the meaning of your status? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na ipaglaban ng karapatan mo ang gusto mo and yet you fail 
to highlight or to emphasize the meaning of your family. Again, this is another lesson that we can get in today's gospel. The meaning of all the things that we are doing. The meaning of your status in life. Kung ikaw ay isang may pamilya, ano ang halaga ng pamilya mo sa buhay mo? Yung estado no, estado mo pag, ng pagiging asawa, pagiging ama. Ito yung mga dapat nating alalahanin. And it's so unfortunate nowadays. Minsan nakakalimutan ito. And I just hope, my dear friends, we begin it in our families. Yung pagpapahalaga ng meaning ng pamilya, meaning ng pagiging anak, meaning ng pagiging asawa, meaning ng pagiging ina, meaning ng isang pagiging may katrabaho, meaning ng pagiging kristyano, meaning ng pagiging anak ng Diyos. Bakit tayo narito? Kita ko nyo naman, linggo, sabadong sabado, punong puno. Narito tayo sapagkat hinahanap natin yung meaning ng pagiging anak ng Diyos. Tayo dumudulog sa mahal na ina, nakikiusap, mahal na ina, tulungan nyo kami. Ibig sabihin, you are able to get in touch with the meaning of your life. And I just hope we will not only find the meaning in moments of difficulties, but more importantly, even in moments of victories and successes. Again, it's all about the peaceful manner and finding meaning and be mindful always of the meaning in all the things that we do. We all stand. Let us pray to God our Father that He may bring us closer to the values of the gospel to renew the church and the world. And for every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of the day the ever-new language of the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May dear friends, in a few moments of silence, let us offer to God while asking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag for all our needs, petitions, and also for all the blessings that we receive from God. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as new people set free from the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may their friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered no requests be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation to give you thanks, Almighty God, as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Thomas, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace in our days, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, be, with, be you. with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Pra prayer for the blessing. We shall now do the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all your religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Say.